Testing GPTs you need, part five. Canva, effortlessly design anything, presentations, logos, social media posts, and more. Everyone knows Canva, it's an incredible tool. It's totally revolutionized the way we do graphic design with its super easy user interface, drag and drop designs, really professional quality looks for literally everything. All your marketing tools, Canva has it. What's really great is they've created their own custom GPT right inside of ChatGPT that allows you to literally just talk to this thing and you can create whatever you want Go ahead and change it, make edits, opens it up right in the Canvas site. You can change it however you want. So let's go ahead and test it out and get started. They have a couple conversation starters here for you. Uh, an inspirational quote graphic for social media, an Instagram post about a breathtaking sunset, a highlight my favorite hiking trail and a Facebook post, a poster for our online store, seasonal sale. Any of these things are really great. Let's try a poster for our online store, seasonal sale. Of course, you can come in here and talk to this, you know, tell it whatever you want. I need an Instagram reel cover for my, you know, beauty skincare product or something like that. You can go in and type that in. It's going to generate a version for you of it. And literally within a couple seconds, uh, it's already started to ask us questions. This is great if you're like not entirely sure like what you want to be making. So it's going to ask you a couple questions to kind of hone in on your topic a little bit more. So it says, what will we design together today uh, for your online store seasonal sale? Poster, could you tell me a bit more about the theme or the vibe that you're going for? Uh, want any specific products or offers you'd like to highlight? Like you say, we're selling luxury handbags, something like that, and see what comes up. Really, you could type in anything here. It's going to go ahead. It's going to connect to Canva. Right now, this is asking us if we want to allow ChatGPT to talk to Canva. If you don't want to see this message again, you can click always allow. I'm just gonna click allow for now. This is great. Uh, you know, OpenAI is really taking into consideration our privacy and our security by, you know, making sure that we're actually communicating with, you know, third parties that we wanna be talking to. This is just gonna go ahead and literally, in the time that I've been talking, uh, it's already started to create some options for us based on the designs that they have in Canva. It's gonna to put together, look, already right, seasonal sale up to 50% off on luxury handbags. It's literally taking the one thing that I told it, luxury handbags, and kind of, you know, put these together and giving us some images, some copy. What's really great is we can go in here and we can just click on any one of these and it's editable. It opens up right in Canva. We can go ahead and like change this to, instead of exclusive seasonal sale, say this was a fall seasonal sale. We can change that to fall seasonal sale. Or if we want to swap out the images, we can come into the elements panel over here and we could just take these and we could drag and drop the images right here. Super easy to customize. If we want to change the background color to a orange fall color or something like that, really easy to customize. But what's really great is that this is all again inside of ChatGPT. And so if we're not totally happy with this, like we don't have to edit this ourselves. We can just tell ChatGPT what we're unhappy with and we can go ahead and, you know, tell it, make it more vibrant and include room for multiple images. So in case we want to show off more of our products and just this one big one uh, and kind of make it a little bit more colorful, you know, again, these are like a little flat, like this isn't super eye catching, but we want to make these graphics a little bit more eye catching. So let's just type to it and see what it gives us in return. So here we go. It says, I've created a couple more vibrant designs for your luxury handbag sale with space to feature multiple images. Take a look. So you look at these, they're definitely a little bit more vibrant. You know, it didn't actually include, uh, you know, space for multiple images, but that's okay. Again, we can go into uh, Canva, open this up right here, and we can just go ahead and drag and drop and move things around uh, as we like, right? We can go ahead and, and drop a handbag on there and, you know, scale it down and reposition it, whatever, how, how, however you like to do it. Obviously, that's not a good design, but you, you get the idea, right? I come in here, change the copy, change the graphics, add different elements. So it's just like really a great starting point. If you're unsure of where to start, uh, you can come in here and get this started. I'd say uh, it's a pretty great feature so far. It's not super great at getting your specific feedback, but it does a really great job getting you a nice starting point to swap in uh, whatever you want to make this really feel like your own overall uh, really cool that ChatGPT is starting to integrate with these third parties that allow you to do all sorts of crazy things I'm really happy with this in order to install this you're just gonna want to come over here to the sidebar go to export GTs it's gonna open these up I know that's actually right here in trending number four but if you don't see it you can just type in Canva into the search bar it's gonna come up here Canva you can just click on that to open a new window and start typing this is logo creator by Chase Lean says, use me to generate professional logo designs and app icons. This GPT is awesome, super straightforward, really obvious what it does. If you need to create a logo, you can use this GPT. Doesn't matter if you're creative, doesn't matter if you're a graphic designer, this GPT will take care of all of it for you. All you gotta come in here and tell it, 
what type of logo you want to create and it's going to work some magic and it's going to make it right for you. It's got some good conversation starters to start. Generate me a logo featuring an ice cream, make me an app icon for an RPG adventure game, or we can go ahead and type in our own prompt. I'm going to say make me a logo for a skateboard brand called Toon. It should be vibrant and playful. Logo creator is going to get to work. What I love about this GPT, it's going to ask you questions. I love when GPTs ask you questions. That means you're gonna get really accurate results. It's gonna be tailored specifically to you. It's gonna maybe ask you some things you wouldn't have even thought about before to make sure you're getting results that you're really, really happy with. So it asks me first, would you like the logo to be vibrant, neutral, serious, skip all four questions and generate a logo using the default options that says the default option is A, vibrant, which is what I told it I wanted. I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna say A, I want this logo to be vibrant. It says excellent choice for a skateboard brand on a scale of one to 10. How would you like the logo's design complexity? One being extremely clean and simple, 10 being extremely detailed and complex. I personally always like my logos pretty clean and simple. Lots of readability, lots of breathability, make it so it's really obvious, nothing too confusing. For a logo, you want someone to be able to see it and recognize exactly what it is right away. So the default is three, which means fairly simple and minimalistic. What's your preference? I think three is like a pretty good starting off point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in three. Let's see what other questions it has for us. It says, got it, a simplicity level of three, so fairly simple and minimalistic. Let's talk about the color palette. I hadn't even thought about the color palette. Maybe you hadn't thought about the color palette. Do we want it bright red and electric blue, pastel pink and mint green, black and neon yellow, or a custom palette? I think black and neon yellow would be pretty cool for something like this, it's a skateboard brand. What do you think? What would you like to see? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna type in C black and neon yellow. It says a striking choice, gotta love that. Would you like to generate a one single design, which is the default, or B, nine different logo designs at once? This is super, super cool. We can have it generate nine different options for us. I love options for something like this. Uh, it's gonna give me a whole bunch of stuff maybe I hadn't thought about. It's gonna really let me hone in on what I like about the design and what I wanna change. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in B, and it's gonna get to work using Dolly 3 to create the logo for us for our skateboard company called Toon. That's vibrant, the black and neon color palette with simplistic kind of minimal design. So let's see what it comes up with here. I'm super stoked to see what this creates. This is awesome. Literally in just a couple seconds, it's created nine different, actually look at this, it's created 12 different options for us. What I noticed though, that when it does this, obviously it's created all of our options within one single image. So it's kind of harder to break them apart and tell what you're getting. I like some of these more than others. You know, obviously the ones on the end are cut off. So like, it's not perfect. And text and Dolly is still hit or miss, but some of these are working really, really well. Uh, which one of these do you guys like? Let me know in the comments what you're feeling. I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know, these are great, but create one more, more image. Make sure the text tune is readable and the skateboard is prominent. So there are really two items in this logo that are really, really important to me. One, the name of the brand, Tune, uh, and two, the skateboard. Wait, it's a skateboard company, and so we want everybody to recognize this as what it is. Some of the original designs had it, some don't. So I'm gonna ask it to create another one for me that really focuses on those specific elements. So again, this is ChatGPT. It really allows you to have a conversation, a dialogue with it. So it says, all right, here's another logo design. It's getting a lot closer. It's not quite right, but maybe with a little work, we could bring this into Photoshop or uh, Illustrator and kind of make a little couple changes there, but it's really great for a jumping off point or a great way to ideate on a lot of different options to really kind of focus in on what you're trying to get. So it's really, really great for brainstorming. I really like this GPT. Let me know if you like it in the comments. It says, here's another logo design for your skateboard brand tune. It's vibrant and playful with a simple and minimalistic style. Are you satisfied with this logo? I want to say, make sure the skateboard graphic is obvious. Put it on a white background because so much of our design right now is dark and putting on a dark background doesn't make any sense. So I'm just gonna tell it one more time to give us one more example to put it on a white background and make sure it's really clean and readable. Um, so this is a lot of fun for me. I really like doing this. You can do all sorts of things with this. It doesn't matter if you have a beauty company or if you're a business consultant or you know if you're a graphic designer yourself and need a new logo for your company. This is cool. Now this is interesting that it kind of put it on you know a designer sketch pad, but I think the logo itself in the middle here is really, really good. I'm really happy with this. This is exactly what I was looking for. The skateboard is obvious. The name is really obvious. It's spelled correctly. This is looking cool. I'm happy with this. This is great. So if you like the logo creator and you want to install this, just go ahead, come into Explore GPTs right in the sidebar and you can just search for it. Logo creator should pop up. 
logo creator by Chase Lean right here. Just click that. It's going to open up a new window for you and you can start creating. This is the coloring book hero. This is by chat GPT. So you know, it's going to be of good quality. It's going to take any idea and turn it into whimsical coloring book pages. Super fun, really obvious what this is. All you got to do is feed it a concept and it's going to create an image for a coloring book. It's going to be nice and bold. It's going to be black and white. It's going to be something you could print out for your kids or family, or you could even print out a series of these and turn this into an actual, you know, print on demand coloring book. You could sell this on Amazon, you could sell it on Etsy, you could sell the digital files, or you could actually put it together in a book yourself and try to make some money from it. All you have to type in is one word. I'm gonna say dinosaurs. Everybody loves a dinosaur. Awesome for coloring book. Kids love dinosaurs. This is great. Typed in one word. It's gonna get to work using Dolly just to create some images for us. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, awesome. This is done. It says, here's a coloring book page featuring a variety of friendly dinosaurs in a prehistoric landscape, perfect for elementary school children to color in. Enjoy bringing these dinosaurs to life with color. Look at how freaking awesome this is. This is super, super cool. I'm really happy with this. Maybe there's a little extra detail in the back there that we don't need. But for me, this is maybe a little bit more advanced, right? There's a lot of detail in here and I think this could be a little bit simpler. What's great about this being inside of ChatGPT is that you can have a conversation with it. If we're not happy with it, we can just tell it what we're unhappy with and it's gonna make changes for us. So let's say focus on a T-Rex and make it simpler. So maybe we're just gonna have one dinosaur instead of a group of dinosaurs. Maybe we're not gonna have this whole jungle kind of nature environment. Um, and it's just gonna create one. It's gonna make it a lot more simpler. So it's easier for a kid to color in. Here we go, look at this. This is super cute and fun. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one. This is a really cute little T-Rex with his little stubby arms. I uh, got the sun and the trees and the clouds and everything. This is great, this is really fun for someone to color in. And so you could see how you could really quickly make a whole series of these. You could say, you know, make a Stegosaurus in the same style, right? And you're gonna create a series of these that you can again print out or put together in a booklet to package up and sell, you know, print on demand style or just sell the digital files or offer them for free. If you like Coloring Book Hero and you wanna install this yourself, just come up to Explore GPTs. You can type it into the search bar, Coloring Book Hero. It's gonna pop up right here by ChatGPT. You're just gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna open a new chat window for you and you can start creating. This is AI Diagrams by Whimsical.com. Explains and visualizes concepts with whimsical, flowcharts, mind maps, and sequence diagrams. If you need help diagramming something, this is a really great place for it. You can see exactly the type of conversation starters it has. Escalation process, a diagram for OAuth 2.0 flow, a site map for a food delivery company, or you can visualize a chat GPT architecture. I really, really like this tool for content planning. I think it's really helpful if you're a content creator to start seeing buckets and categories and subcategories and gives you really great ideas for types of content you can create based on a single topic. So let me show you how this works. You can just go ahead and say, I need topics for a YouTube channel. What's really great is that ChatGPT likes it when you're specific, so it knows how much detail you want. That's why I said, I need topics for a YouTube channel focused on AI tools, create categories, subcategories, and sub subcategories. So you know you're gonna get a lot of detail in there. What's really great, it's gonna talk with whimsical.com. It's gonna create a whole diagram for you. It's gonna give you some really, really great ideas for your content that maybe you might not have thought of before. Really helpful in content planning. So this is asking us, AI Diagrams wants to talk to whimsical.com. Do we want to allow this? Uh, we can click always allow if we don't want this popping up in the future. I'm just going to click allow. This is for user privacy and security to make sure you're connecting with exactly who you want to connect with. So I'm really happy OpenAI has implemented these features, but we're going to allow this because we want to see this diagram. Okay, look at this. Literally in just a couple seconds, it created this entire diagram for us. AI Tools YouTube channel, a tutorial series on basic AI concepts, you know, we can do a tutorial series, product reviews, industry insights, interviews and discussions, project showcases. So again, these are the broad categories that can broken down further and further and further. You could literally create a video on every single one of these topics. Basic AI concepts, you can go to machine learning, neural networks, natural language processing, right? Product reviews and AI software and tools or hardware, chatbots, GPUs, wearable AI devices, right? Look at how freaking cool this is. And what's great is it gives this to you totally live and whimsical. You can just click the link and you can go ahead here and make changes uh, to whatever you want. You can zoom in and check all these out. You can make changes to what's in here, you know, we can type in LLM for large language models, which is what ChatGPT is. You can save this out. So let me know what you think about this GPT. What types of diagrams do you want to create with it? Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. If you want to install AI diagrams, just go over to Explore GPTs. 
type in AI diagrams in the search bar and come down here to AI diagrams by Whimsical. Just click that, it's gonna open up a new chat window and you can start creating all sorts of diagrams for you. If you wanna learn more about cool custom GPTs, just subscribe to my channel. Check out this video right here.